Today I'm making a design team project for Periwinkle Matilda using her digital kit called Forget Me Nots. This is one of the collage pages. It's beautiful blues and a little bit of flowers and birds. Really pretty. And this is an idea that I got from watching YouTube, Louisa Heinzel. And she made this really cute little envelope thing. <laughs> Don't know what to call it, but it would be great for Happy Mail. So I've just undone the little fabric tie there. And you open it up and it's got a little signature in here. So there's some pages, little pocket with a little card in there. Some images and another little pocket here and then you flip it over and same on the other side a little pocket with a little tag in there some pages to write on beautiful little girl image there and also another pocket here and so that is that and then also in the middle it also has a card and there's a little one of the postcards from the kits in there so i thought this would be a great project uh, as i mentioned for happy mail uh, it's <laughs> if you're in canada you have to be concerned about uh, the size of things as far as the height is concerned so this would be i think perfect size to go by mail Anyway, I thought it was a really cute idea and the, this was the perfect kit for it. So let's make it. I have the perfect size envelopes for this project. They are five and three quarters inches wide by just less than four and a half tall. And the reason that they're perfect is because I can take half of an eight and a half by 11 half of 11 so five and a half and then that fits perfectly on the out will be perfect for the outside of the envelope and then also has enough to make a flap so this half of an eight and a half by 11 becomes these two pieces one to fit on the flap of the envelope and the other that will fit inside so i've gone ahead and i've completely distressing this envelope um, because you will be able to see the edges here all the way around on both sides here and of course around the edges and the top as well so you want to make sure to do a good job of that and I've just taken my piece of paper held it up to the flap and and cut it out I just did a little pencil line so for this we want this piece, we want two pieces to cover this part and the inside part as well. So I'm just going to turn it around and you don't have to do this double sided, but that's just what I did. And I'm going to just put that right up to the line of the flap there. Just give it a little bit of breathing space there and center that. And I'm going to make a pencil line. And I'm just going to come straight across here. There is a little bit of an in, indent there and I don't want that. So I'll just draw a line there. And while I have my ruler, might as well keep using it. Get my kids safety scissors here. And I'm just going to cut that out. And there you go, you have the, the outside piece and the inside piece. I'm just going to, there might be a little gap there, uh, but this is going to be covered with the same tray anyway. And then I've got this piece and I'm going to cut another one of these pieces for the back side of this. 
And the only thing to be careful of is, of course, the direction of the images. Uh, obviously, you want things to be all facing the proper way. So just pay mind to that. Okay, I'm going to glue that down. I was just thinking how nice it would be to sometimes have another set of hands in your craft room. <laughs> because I need to tape these two envelopes together with a very small gap. And they're a bit slippery on my table, but I'm going to do my best here. And I'm only coming up to the envelope body itself, not to include the flap. Not very straight. And this is really cheap tape, so I am going to put another strip. It's okay to go over the top of it. I, I can trim that off. And so this is the inside. Uh, these will be glued together, so you won't see this. And these signature strings will also be inside here. So I'm just going to trim this extra tape off. On the other side of the signature, to add some reinforcement, I took a piece of fabric and I just did a zigzag stitch around the edges. And this is just to make this a little more uh, durable once the stitches go through. So the stitches will be going through this piece of tape from the inside up over the top and through back through the fabric and we just want to make that a little more stable and you can you can glue the edge around too you don't have to stitch it so in the signature so I'm in the middle of the two envelopes and my signature pages are on the back on each side and I made a little template out of paper and with three holes so I'm just going to punch the holes through the envelopes and the signature. And I've got some crochet thread and a needle. Don't need a too wide needle, but I do want to be able to thread it. So something with a big eye. Well, first time, what do you know? So I'm going to leave a long tail so I can put some beads on after. So I'll knot it about three or four inches in from the end. And I'll start at the middle hole. I'm going to come up on the top hole. I'm going to come in from the other side just to, with the awl, just to see, make it easier to find. Okay, now I'm going to the bottom hole. I'm going to move that tail to one side. Bring that through. I want that thread to go on the other side of the middle thread there. So there's the tails on each side. Just checking to make sure that that's okay. It looks okay. And so you can see I've got a thread on each side here. And I'm going to do one, two knots. And then I have a little bit of excess there to put a bead on later. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and straight. 
because I'm going to double check, make sure that there's clearance under the flaps there. Everything looks good. And then in between the two envelopes, I'm going to glue this down. I only want to glue three sides because I want to keep this top side, oh, this top end open so I can put something inside there like a card or something. So I'm going to put a little glue on those strings on the inside so they stay put and don't float around. So I want to make sure that these edges on each side are going to line up and glue. And I'm going to add a little bit to the other corners as well. Just to make sure that everything's covered off. Put those two envelopes together. And I am going to press those down a bit. Just a little bit of excess glue there. And I am going to put those under a book to dry. So I've added the buttons and eyelids, just sort of in the normal way that we do for the folio. And now I want to pull the fabric through the hole to make the ties. So I actually use a little crochet hook. And I just need to grab a little bit of the fabric, just enough to kind of get a little bit through. And then just pull. And I'm taking the tails through the loop here. And I want the fabric to be facing pretty side out. So I'm just going to turn that over on the hoop. Not too tight, but tight enough to hold it in there. I don't know, this is getting pretty bulky. <laughs> I may have to, if I was shipping it as Happy Mail, I may have to get a bigger envelope and lay it this way <laughs> open and not tie it shut. The same thing on this side. Just and just bring the tails through again. Just gently pull. All right, and I've added some pockets and some tags, so this can just be gently tied at the bottom there, and there you have it. These aren't quite even, but I can fix it in a minute, just a quick flip through. I added a few little beads at the bottom of the strings. There's a little fussy cutting there. And I've left these just with the paper from the collage page because they're so nice. A little tag over here in pocket. This is one of the cards in the kit. A little tag here. the tab on the top so you can pull it out and that go is into the envelope there. Turn it around the other way. Beautiful papers. Little tag with a little ruffle 
tab at the top. I just did that with a piece of paper, just folded the fabric in little folds, did a zigzag down the middle, and then just bent it over and attached it with fabric tack. And this little pockets from the kit and the little little girl. And you can do there could be journaling done on these pages. A little pocket and a little tag in there. And a little ticket in this envelope with a little handmade with love. <laughs> I got those little tags from Amazon and I just sold them on what I think is appropriate. It also came with uh, buttons and these little leather like labels as well that you can sew or glue on. They're really cute. All right. Let's get back to the beginning here. So this is ready to send as happy mail. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.